Hey guys, happy Diwali! Welcome back to our YouTube channel. Yo, it's us, D and V, together with Melody. And yo, before you continue, please hit the like button, subscribe, comment, and also share this beautiful content to, to your, your friends, friends and, and your, your family. family. And also, love to give us sincere appreciation. Yeah. Thanks to you guys, Indian Barrett. Yo, you guys are the best yeah, out here. Yeah, and yo, whoever you're watching, you, you are, are the, the best. best out there. And mm -hmm. guys, guess what are we having today? Mm -hmm. Yo, today is Diwali and mm -hmm. actually today is our recommendation from us to, to you guys. guys So we're going to take a look on this video mm -hmm. Actually, it's a Diwali festival, we know mm -hmm. But really need to know what is it about mm -hmm. Like okay. more info, like mm -hmm. details about Diwali yeah. Because yeah. we are learning about India and yo, this is our favorite thing to do. Are you guys mm -hmm. excited? We're so excited. We just said happy Diwali, but really need to understand like the, the Diwali meaning, itself, yeah. the meaning yeah. deep down. He's just going to heat it up with one of the video yeah. and going to show us what is Diwali and mm -hmm. it goes by the name Diwali Indian Festival of Lights. Whoa, so it's a festival of light, okay. right? Yo, we could bring some lights and candles. Yeah, exactly. Yo, we'll figure it out at the end of the video. So, yeah. are you guys excited? We're so excited. And actually, yo, guys, do we look really good in this Indian outfit? Why do you actually, see we it? need yeah. this for Diwali. Yeah, exactly, right? it's our first it's time our we're trying, first time Indian we are trying this Indian clothes. Mm -hmm. And actually, guys, please. Let us know in the comment section. What do you think, yeah, do you think, think about, about this? Yeah. I just feel like I'm a man from Delhi. Like, <laughs> yo, we're all in India from today. Mumbai. Oh. Mumbai. And you? <laughs> you think it all the time, city? <laughs> yo, that is great. But you wow. guys really look good in that. Mm, thank you. How do you feel being in Ooh. Indian outfit? I'm still so learning so how fun. to put together this mm -hmm. <laughs> and make sure it's here. Yeah. Oh, and you? <laughs> So good. I love and it's not really like right? uh, tummies are out. Oh, so why do you hide them? Why do you hide them? It's kind of weird for us. We're not yet adopted. Yeah. Slowly. Okay, yeah, but yo, really nice. I, uh, you guys, you really look good. I hope you the guys. Good. Thank you. you. Thank you. Really oh, sure. thank you. Thank you so much. I hope the guys who are watching us. I hope you guys will let them know that they look mm -hmm. good on the conversation. Mm -hmm. yeah. How do we look on our Indian outfit? Yeah. Yeah. Yo guys, also we did this to honor the Wali festival mm -hmm. yeah, for you guys true. and yeah. I hope you guys really appreciate it and mm -hmm. also love it mm -hmm. and if you really loved it, please give this video thumbs up, likes Ooh. and let us know in the comment section, right? Yeah! Yeah, this is V, I'm D, it's Melody mm -hmm. and yo, you can let us know in the comment section mm -hmm. whatever you thought are with mm -hmm. this but I really know I really look sharp. <laughs> yeah, I really look sharp. I feel myself. I have a different mood. Like, yo, it's Diwali day. All the way to Delhi. All the way to Delhi. No, from Delhi. <laughs> yeah. So we're just gonna heat it up, right? Okay. Let's, okay. let's get to know yes. from Diwali, right? Yeah. Okay, let's have it. Yeah, careful, wow, yeah. I know, right? Diwali, the, the festival, festival of, of lights. Wow. Oh, Diwali is certainly one of the biggest, brightest, oh. and most important festivals in India. While Diwali is popularly known as the festival of lights, the most significant spiritual meaning behind it is the awareness of the inner light or the Atman. The celebration of Diwali as the victory of good over evil refers to the light of higher knowledge dispelling all ignorance. While the story behind Diwali and the manner of celebration of the festival differ greatly depending on the region, the essence of the festival remains the same, the celebration of life, its enjoyment and goodness. The word Diwali is derived from the Sanskrit term Deepavali, which translates to rows of lamps. Based on the Hindu lunar calendar, Diwali falls between October and November on an Amavasya or moonless night. Celebrated as the victory of good over evil, the festival is associated with the legend of the Hindu god, Lord Ram's return to his kingdom Ayodhya after 14 years in exile. The demon king Ravan of Lanka had abducted Lord Ram's consort Sita only to invite his own death as a result. 
Lord Ram, along with his brother Lakshman and an army of monkeys, defeated and killed Ravan and returned to his kingdom with Sita. Oh, are they like acting? According to mythology, the people of Ayodhya lit up clay lamps known as diyas to welcome him on his return from exile. The biggest festival of India also gives rise to an abundance of Diwali melas or fairs and carnivals to support the massive shopping sprees associated with the festival. Girls and women dress up during the festival. They wear colorful clothing and new jewelry, and their hands are decorated with henna designs. Oh, we'll do that. Decorative items, garlands, diyas, and crackers are on the hot list of all the shoppers. This time of the year also marks the highest sale of traditional Indian sweets, as sweets are exchanged when families and friends come together to celebrate. Oh, yeah. Markets are adorned with colorful Diwali decorations. Small time potters who sell clay diyas have their highest annual sales around this time. Wow. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you see them, yeah. oh, Local bazaars offer an array of designer clay diyas, urban lamps, and colorful lanterns. Women have a great time shopping and decking up for the festivities along with gathering the items required for the rituals. Many tourists also visit markets to experience the festive rush during Diwali. Diwali also marks the end of the harvest season for farmers and the closing of the financial year for businessmen. Oh, the end of the financial year. Colorful idols of Goddess Lakshmi and Lord Ganesha are seen everywhere in the markets. Hindus strongly believe that Goddess Lakshmi, the goddess of wealth, visits their houses if they are kept clean and lit with diyas on this day. Vijay is a manager at a farmhouse and belongs to a typical Hindu household. He and his wife Rajbala, along with their children Varsha, Vaishali and Vishal, celebrate Diwali the traditional way. Diwali is a five-day affair and kicks off with Dhanteras. Dhan means wealth, hence this day is considered auspicious for buying items related to prosperity like utensils or gold. Vijay and his family also plan to buy something in keeping with the customs of Dhanteras. Increasing inflation in India has made it a little difficult for everyone to buy gold. Vijay's family have decided to buy some utensils from one of the nearby shops. It is a good day for the shopkeepers to make a lot of money. Vijay will have to bargain a lot to get the best deal. Different colorful varieties of fireworks are always associated with this festival. Vijay and Rajpala go to a shop to buy firecrackers for their children. Their youngest child Vishal is very excited as he checks out the crackers. The family returns after the shopping and rests at home as they have much to do the coming evening. An excited Vishal starts his Diwali celebration by bursting tiny crackers. Vijay buys new utensils that will be worshipped at night after they are offered to Goddess Lakshmi for blessings. It is believed that she will bestow the devotee with good luck, fortune and wealth. The day after Dhanteras is known as Narak Jodas or Choti Diwali. In short, it is Diwali on a smaller scale with fewer rituals. Hindus get up before dawn, clean their houses, take a fragrant bath and dress up in festive clothes. Vijay and his family follow suit. They are decorating their house with much excitement to invite Goddess Lakshmi. The whole family rejoices on the occasion by singing artis or religious hymns while they take part in the puja. The third day of the festival, also known as Lakshmi Puja, is the main Diwali celebration. The day is devoted to Goddess Lakshmi, Goddess of Wealth and Lord Ganesh, the Lord of auspicious beginnings and the remover of obstacles. The devotees worship them seeking prosperity and wealth. Vijay and his family are no exception. They do not want to annoy the deities and seek their favor. They get up early in the morning and start preparing for the big day. The daughters, Varsha and Vaishali, along with their mother Rajbala, start by creating a colorful rangoli in the doorway. Wow. Artistically oh sprinkling colored powder on the floor oh with an amazing pattern needs concentration and precision. The girls and their mother are experts at this. Vishal sits with his mother and curiously watches the Rapoli motif being made. 
The purpose of the Rangoli is to welcome guests and to encourage Goddess Lakshmi to come into the home. Wow. Once the Rangoli is done, the women get dressed and light up diyas in the whole house. The house has already been decorated with colorful lanterns and sparkly lights which will be kept all night. All the cities. Wow. Dressed in their festive clothes, Rajbala and her daughters keep all the diyas on a large platter. They fill the diyas with oil and place the cotton mix in them. Varsha and Vaishali place the lit diyas all over the house. Vishal and his friend also help his sisters by lighting candles and placing them in every room of the house so that each corner of the house seems to be welcoming the goddess Lakshmi. The valley falls on a moonless night, but the gleaming diyas and lights from the decorated houses in the neighborhood light up the darkness. Oh. Devotees throng temples to worship Goddess Lakshmi at night, but Vijay and Rajbala will perform the ritual in their own house. They need to set up the altar for the Goddess first. Decorated with red cloth and yellow flowers, they place the idols of Goddess Lakshmi and Lord Ganesh at an auspicious spot in the house. The whole family gathers around it and Rajbala holds the Aarti Thali for the ritual. The Aarti Thali is a platter of offerings. Religious hymns or artis are sung in praise of the deities while the prayers are being performed. The end of the arti marks the beginning of the noisy but colorful display of firecrackers. It is a lot of fun for children and kids from the other communities who also love to participate in this tradition. But one night of endless firecrackers causes a lot of air pollution, making it difficult to move about in the night even to visit your friends and relatives. The Vali spells a business boom for the fireworks industry since people spend millions of rupees just on crackers for this single day celebration. Firecrackers are believed to be the announcement of the victory of good over evil, to dispel evil and to announce to the gods the joy of the people living on earth. Thus firecrackers are set off from dusk throughout the night and sometimes even till dawn. While the firecrackers are going on, Rajbala is all set to prepare a feast for the Varsha and Vishali help their mother in the kitchen. They plan to cook traditional puri, the Indian fried flat bread, and paneer or cottage cheese. After the meal is cooked, the family enjoys it at the table. Most Hindu families have a similar vegetarian fare for Diwali. Govardhan Puja is the fourth day of the Diwali festival. In some parts of India, this day is also known as Annakut. Legend says that Lord Indra, the Hindu Lord of Rain and the King of Gods, got angry with the people of the land of Gokul, the birthplace of Lord Krishna. To punish the villagers, the rain god poured out endless rain flooding through the village. However, Lord Krishna came to the rescue of the village and sheltered the villagers under Govardhan Hill by lifting the entire hill onto his little finger, thereby protecting the villagers and their livestock. Since then, this day is celebrated to thank Lord wow. Krishna. This day is also known as Padma in some parts of the country and people visit their friends and family with gifts and goodies on this day. Wow. Vijay's family has a tradition of celebrating this day. The women of the family and neighborhood make a cow down hillock to perform the ritual of the day. The hillock is built symbolizing Govardhan Hill and then decorated with flowers and other elements. Okay. The men folk then pay obeisance to this symbolic hillock by circling around it and singing religious songs. join in the prayers. They also offer kheel, puffed rice and flowers to the hillock. The festival of Diwali concludes with a celebration called Bhai Dooj. This day is an important day for brothers and sisters. The name Bhai Dooj is divided into two parts. The first one Bhai stands for brother. Hindu women across India pray for their brothers long lives on this day. The latter part Dooj is added as this day falls on the second day after Diwali. According to legend, Yam, the god of death, visited his sister Yamuna on this day. Yamuna greeted her brother with an arti and the million mark of respect on his forehead, known as Tika. Yamuna celebrated the day by offering sweets to her brother and got gifts from him in return. The tradition since then is followed in all Hindu families. 
Sisters Darsha and Vaishali perform the ritual for their beloved brother Vishal. The celebration starts early in the morning and sisters perform puja for their brothers. They put a red vermilion tikka on their brother's forehead. Brothers in return give gifts to their sisters as a token of their love. Vijay's children get up early in the morning and dress up. Vishal is seated for the ritual and his elder sister Varshan begins the ritual with a thali of offerings. She marks Vishal's forehead with vermilion paste and ties a holy thread on his hand. She gives him the auspicious offerings of coconut and sweets. Later, she happily demands a gift from Vishal and gets money instead. The younger sister Vaishali performs the same rituals. Vijay's sister also performs the rituals with him and the whole family customarily celebrates the day together. Bhai Dooj marks the end of the five days of Diwali celebrations. Diwali is known as the festival of lights, but with so many rituals and traditions, it can also be called a festival of sweets, gifts, fireworks and family. The most important message of Diwali is that of spreading happiness and sharing familial togetherness. Such festive celebrations impart a lot of values to the younger generations by helping them understand and enjoy traditions in a meaningful way. The festival of Diwali comes and goes every year, but the enthusiasm to celebrate it increases with every passing year. After all, it is synonymous with good time spent with family and loved ones and promises something memorable for every member of the family and community. Diwali night is a sight to behold in any part of the country and the oneness of joyful spirits is apparent as people watch their troubles symbolically go up in flames and burst in an exhilarating display of fireworks. an applause for that yo also we appreciate for the youtube channel which also did make this video yeah. shout out goes to the official youtube channel goes by the name wild, wild films india, india. we are wow. really yeah them. i know right yeah, that is it true. we appreciate yeah, so much so yeah much. you can just check it out mm -hmm. the links to the original video channel is mm -hmm. on the description yeah. and you guys will really have fun also oh, enjoy also I learn mean, about yeah. india diwali yeah. so just quickly everyone is going to speak a little bit mm -hmm. about diwali about what he or she hasn't understood about it then i think we'll just wish you again a happy diwali mm -hmm. then we go to celebrate right yeah we go find our indian friends out there <laughs> and celebrate the oh, for guys. me i didn't know like the meaning i just saw like a lot of light I all know, around right? all yeah. around yeah so it's the the meaning i'm glad to know that the meaning is the festival of, of light so like know, they're right? shining out light so that the darkness may no longer like be yeah, there and, and welcome yeah. the lord exactly yeah. and it's it is shared by the families friends i'm really glad to know about this wow. and it brings good luck too yeah mm -hmm. that's really yes. a good major one mm -hmm. are you done yeah okay v. um for me okay as mother said i can add something a little bit mm -hmm. well from this video i understood that um diwali is not only about celebrations and stuff mm -hmm. yeah it's about togetherness, family, yeah, family, yeah, family, yeah, family, yeah, family know, right? brothers, yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, so this is a good thing. I wish mm -hmm. we could have this kind of celebration in our country. Yeah, sure. That's exactly. a really good yeah, one. Yeah, 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 sure. yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Are you done? I think I'm done. <laughs> so guys on my style really appreciated the video actually mm -hmm. it was very educative very good one and mm -hmm. also I learned a lot we learned a lot we from this so video much. but the major ones is that yo this is a very good festival meaningful yeah. one yeah. like really symbolizes happiness winnings and also togetherness those are like the main the key yeah. yeah those are the main keys mm -hmm. which I really got from this one mm -hmm. Like it's really really touch, it's really really heartwarming watching yeah, it. Yeah, like I really love the storyteller and the example of a family which yes. she did use the so that day, people could understand. Day, yeah. I know, right? Yeah. Good more like with the example of the family yeah. which she did use the narrator. Mm -hmm. So your credits for that because mm -hmm. we did understand it. And also it really they told us at the end the Wally Festival if they celebrate, I mean is a token of happiness also mm -hmm. among the youth so yes. that is really a major one like yes. we hope you guys also together with us we are having a good time and a great time and we hope that we are 
spreading love and happiness also to yes. you guys and the light mm -hmm. and the light to you guys mm -hmm. because that's what Diwali means we yeah. hope we are spreading love and happiness and mm -hmm. togetherness yeah. to you guys mm -hmm. and also we appreciate also for your recommendations yeah. anyways guys, about our so channel much. and mm -hmm. also we appreciate for the growth of your channel this could not be happening without you guys so please keep on being with us and also keep on getting along with us yeah. and another thing to add up on again i'll speak about our outfits <laughs> yo we appreciate also Thank your you. this is a really great experience mm -hmm. we really had great time yeah and actually we're going to celebrate diwali with you guys yes. and i know you guys are going to have fun right so yeah so fun. that is it and we appreciate once again and we did a behind the scene of how we were getting prepared and all those stuff mm -hmm. and how really it went down until you see exactly. us here mm -hmm. We hope you guys are going to love that video, right? Yeah. yeah. Are you guys excited? I'm should so I just excited. post it up or should I just leave it? You have to post it. I have to post it. Yeah, yeah, I know, right? Yeah. So that was really up with us, guys. Mm -hmm. And we think we should just leave you guys to enjoy a very well and a happy Diwali, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And with having say so, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And also, guys, it's Diwali. Please, if you're not subscribed, subscribe on our channel. Yeah. And the light. bring the light to us i know right <laughs> and also don't, don't forget to check more of our videos the link is on the description because we do post our videos every single day and with happy say so we said i'll be back with more videos, videos. happy, happy diwali, diwali.